Welcome once again back to a video by V Studios. Uh, if you don't already know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Patman Senati Raja. I'm a V partner and the managing director of the V. And today's video is going to be very different. If you've watched uh, all the training videos in the past one year, which we have developed, it's a lot about how to build your business, how to sustain your organization, what is required for basic training. Uh, mid-level training, leadership training. And over the past years of us building the QuestNet business and building the V family, we've come to realize that you guys are out there for one purpose, financial freedom. I respect that, I promote that, I believe in that. And that's the reason why we're all here. Ultimately, QuestNet is an opportunity, the V is your grand upline, all right? And we guide you along this journey where you start from nothing all the way to financial freedom. Now, over the years, we've been observing all over the world, in every country we go to, there's two types of networkers. All right? There's a networker who thinks long-term, and there's a networker which thinks short-term. And we come to realize that there's a drastic difference in the way they build the network, in the way they promote the business, all right, in the way they sustain their leadership and their downlines. Drastic difference, all right? almost unbelievable. Okay? And the correct word for today's video, all right, or the title of this video is going to be the truth. Okay? Just simple, the truth. And I'm here for the next 40 minutes, 45 minutes, one hour. All right? I'm going to talk to you about the truth of building this business. All right? Summarize in the do's and the don'ts of this business. Because ultimately, if you realize the day you come into the business and until the day you reach this level called financial freedom, there are many routes you can take. There's many things you can do. There's many tricks a lot of people use. But ultimately, we realize that the consequences in the way you build your business in your country, wherever you're sitting down watching this video right now, has adverse effects on us long term. Let me give you a very good example. Let's say we're building Malaysia, where I'm standing right now. All right? And there's two groups. There's one group doing it the proper way. All right? Systematically, applying systems, educating people, making sure the downlines are equipped with enough knowledge to build the, the business. All right? Eight basic building blocks, rule three, shut up, listen and do, welcome video, the works. All right, they're just implementing a strategic system of building the network. All right, that's group A. And then you have group B, a different group, which is there to make as much money as fast as possible, regardless of the price all right, they're paying. So they go all out. They promote the business to every Tom, Dick and Sally. Don't give enough information. Okay, all right, over promise, under deliver. All right? Say things which are not even the truth. Okay? Now, the authorities in that country, one day is going to wake up and smell the coffee and realize there are thousands of people in this group who don't even know what they join, which don't even know what networking is about, which don't know head or tail of network marketing. But there's this other group building the business very well, very ethically, all right? very responsibly. Now, the authorities will decide, hey, Let's take action against these people. But they're not going to take action against group A or B. They're going to take action against the company, the organization, QuestNet, the V. And what happens? All right? The actions of this group wake up the authorities or whoever, the peoples of power in your country. Right? They take action in totality over the whole country and the business. And this ethical, good behaving group suffers. All right? A very bad faith, basically. Are you guys with me? If you're with me, not your head at home, right? Please understand this. That one bad apple will spoil the whole basket. Okay? And today's video, I'm going to be as truthful as you can. So firstly, if you're sitting there thinking, hey, how come Patman is talking about this suddenly? He usually inspires, motivates, talk about big dreams. Hey, I'm still the same Patman. But I also want QuestNet to be around for a hundred years. 200 years. I want my grandkids to be networkers in this company. And in order for us to achieve that long-term business strategy, we have to do things right. 
We have to face the truth, live by the truth about our business. What networking is about, what QuestNet is about, right? I'm going to be talking to you by showing you two journeys which a group can take, all right? And like I always show you in most of my videos, all right, the networking journey is from start all the way to financial freedom, okay? This is it. This is the journey, all right? And if you remember one of my videos, I talked about you can do it systematically and properly straight, or you can choose to do it this way, all right? Very confusing, no direction, no system, and it takes you 25 years to achieve financial freedom, where other people are achieving financial freedom in three to five years, which is the normal period, I think, any serious networker should take to achieve financial freedom. But there's a problem. There are people who want to start and achieve financial freedom, right, at any cost. That means do anything, all right, to achieve that financial freedom. Now, what do they do? What is the, the truth about networking today? All right, so let's compare two groups. Let's compare, all right, the A group and the B group. The good guys and the bad guys. And I'm not saying they're bad guys, all right, because of bad intentions. I think they all have the best intentions. They just don't know that what they're doing is wrong. So they keep doing it. They lack training. They lack exposure to the V. They don't watch videos, all right? They don't understand the requirement of basic training. So they just keep doing what they think is best, not realizing that it's going to cause a negative impact to the whole organization or the whole country, wherever they're building. All right, bottom line is, let's talk about group A and group B. Okay, and you decide which group you belong to. You decide what your upline is promoting to you. All right, you decide whether you're doing the right thing or the wrong thing after watching this video. All right, group A believes in the concept of network marketing as a business. All right, and every business in the world has their rules, has their policy and procedures, has the do's and the don'ts, have the right way and the wrong way. In any business, not only network marketing. All right? There are a lot of traditional businesses out there where people are doing the wrong way and the right way. And you observe this in your own country. Some businesses stay for 100 years and some businesses shut down after one year because they're doing it the wrong way. They may make a lot of money short term, but in the long term, they lose. So you decide which group you want to belong to, all right? And guys, let's face the fact. You did not get into QuestNet as a short-term plan. You got into QuestNet for a long-term plan, all right? Financial freedom, leaving a legacy for your children, your grandchildren, all right, to enjoy what you have built. But whatever you have built should last, should not crumble and fall after one year, one and a half years, all right? So let's talk about my group, the V. How we want the world, we want all of you to practice this behavior and not practice this behavior. I'll talk about it later. Now, this group basically all right, believes in training, right? believes in education, believes in ethical practices, all right? believes in long-term strategy and systems, okay? Believes in the business. That is not something you want to make a quick buck or make some fast money and run. That you stay, you work hard, all right? Like any other business around the world. Now, what does training, education have to do with this business? In your mind, sitting there, you said, hey, hang on. My upline told me 3 3 250. Finish, kalas, that's all I need to know. All right? But guys, wake up and smell the coffee. 33250 is the easiest part for you to remember. My nephew memorizes it. All right? But that's not what QuestNet is only about. It's not about 33250. It's a whole world of business practices which you have to practice. All right? And ultimately, remember, when you come into the business, all right, you come in after a presentation. Now, if I present to you, you take everything I presented to you as the truth, right? Because I'm the first person you meet. I am QuestNet. 
I am the V when I talk to you as a prospect. Okay? So when you go out there and you show a plan, you're not talking as Putman. You're talking as QuestNet, you're talking as the V, you represent the organization. Because the guy is sitting there in Tajikistan or, or Ethiopia or Solomon Islands or Hyderabad or Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, doesn't exactly fly to Hong Kong the next day to check out our HQ. Right? Most people don't even go online to check out the company. They take your word for it. So your words, when you present to the prospects, is the truth to the prospect. He takes it as a matter of fact. So that means you have to be very responsible in what you say during your presentation. Because what you say in your presentation is what the guy takes back home, digests, and imprint in his mind, this is networking. This is QuestNet. I heard it from Patman just now over a cup of coffee. So now you understand how important the presentation is? So the guy in group A, all right, all right, presents ethically. Now this is a very big word, ethical. And I had a big tough time grasping this word. All right, because ethical to me means don't steal, you know, don't kill, all right, don't cheat on your wife. That's ethical behavior, okay, all right, don't cheat people, all that kind of stuff. But in network marketing, ethical behavior means something else, okay. All of you are good people, and I, I believe that, okay. The fact that you are in the V family, you are a good person, right. But the question comes back is when you present, how are you presenting? So when I travel around the world and meet people, I look at their presentations. I say, listen, I'm a prospect. You present to me. Oh my God. Some of the presentations I saw freaked me out. Believe me, you'll be laughing sitting on the chair when you hear this, but it's happening all over the world. I met somebody who showed me a plan. I said, how do you present? Well, Mr. Patman, this is how I present. Let me show you. I said, yeah, show me. Right? Okay. You buy a product. What's the word? Buy a product. Fantastic. That's the first good sign. Because there are some presentations where people say, you buy a tracking center. You're not buying a tracking center from QuestNet. That tracking center is your business unit. right? What are you actually buying from QuestNet? A product. With that purchase of product comes an opportunity. The guy said, oh, Mr. Putman, you buy a product. I'm already smiling. I said, that's a well-trained person. He used the right words. Then I meet other people who said, Mr. Putman, you buy this tracking center. Excuse me, the tracking center is a dot in the computer. You don't buy it. You buy a quality product from QuestNet. Alright? Okay? And with that quality product, you have an opportunity if you choose to move ahead in network marketing. Or not, take the product home and be happy. Buy this cheap pendant, you know, buy your silver, whatever you want to buy. Okay, a good watch. Are you guys with me or not? Think about what I'm saying. Listen very carefully. So one day I went for a presentation. The guy walked up to me and said, this is how I present, Mr. Putman. I said, okay, present. Right? And the guy showed this. He said, okay, you buy a tracking center. I said, excuse me? What do I buy? Tracking center. Okay, then you have left, right. I said, very good. Then what? You find two people. I said, good. Then you stop, Mr. Putman. You don't do anything. And every week, you make 250 500 750 1000 US dollars unbelievable business please sign up now that is how some people are presenting now this kind of presentation belongs here unethical this is not the truth about questnet eh? you are telling me that i buy a tracking center which is the first mistake you're not buying a tracking center you're purchasing a product all right find two people stop sleep sing kumbaya Money falls from the sky. Right? That is not networking, ladies and gentlemen. If you are sitting there and you are guilty of this presentation, I guarantee you, your business won't last more than one year. Won't last more than six months. And you're going to destroy the market you're building. This is not QuestNet. Alright? Number one, what if these two people stop? What if these two people are not interested in networking, only interested in the product? So let's say I'm an innocent moron, <laughs> which I am sometimes, and I hear this presentation, would I be excited? Yes. Wow. Buy tracking center, find two people, stop, make a lot of money. Which moron doesn't want to join this kind of business? Do you understand? Right? But after one week, I'm going to be sitting at home and I'm going to ask myself, hey, 
Let's my check. The guy said fine to stop check coming. No check is coming. Second week, no check is coming. Third week, no checks. Fourth week, no checks. Call upline. Excuse me, where's my check? Uh, well, you wait, you wait. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, I'm busy. I'll talk to you next week. What happens to me? Innocent, good-looking guy feels like he's cheated. Because no checks come. Now, who am I going to blame? The guy who showed me the plan? Or am I going to blame Questnet? I'm going to blame Questnet. And what if my uncle is working for the authorities? I go for family dinner. My uncle said, how's life? Uncle, I'm pissed off. Why? I joined this company, Questnet. And they cheated me. What happens next? Uncle says, my good-looking young nephew, Patman, don't worry. I will take up this case. We will shut down this company. Why? Because of a simple, unethical presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up and smell the coffee. We are in a business, long term, five years financial freedom. Make a lot of money, but make it the right way. So you may be sitting there and saying, oh my God, Patman, nobody is showing this kind of presentation. Please, right? In your country, I bet you there are people showing this presentation. And you, can you blame the guy who showed this presentation? Cannot. Why? Because his upline showed him. His uplines, upline showed him. His uplines, uplines, upline showed him. So it's duplication. Bad things are duplicated. I'm hoping good things get duplicated. So unethical is one of the main causes of why networks collapse. Because monkey see, monkey do. Is this an effective plan to show? Buy tracking center, first mega mistake. Find to stop. Money will come from the skies. Right? Sounds good? Yes. Short term, many people sign up. Long term, network destroyed. So what is ethical networking? You're asking me, okay, but man, I won't do the plan that way. You tell me how to show the plan. The good way of showing the plan. Alright? Sit down. Have coffee. Ask them. Alright? Are you ready for the next 30 minutes to listen to a business concept? Are you interested in looking at some high quality products from Questnet? Alright? Firstly, let me talk about the products. Let me talk about the credibility of the company. Let me talk about why I am in the company. Alright? So out of all these products, which one do you want me to explain a little bit further? Oh, I like the Biodis. Very good. Let me show a demo of the Biodis. Lovely, beautiful, unbelievable. Alright? What next, Patman? Alright? You purchase the product. First choice, be a customer, take the product, go home, sing Kumbaya with your family. Alright? Second choice, if you're interested, alright, to earn extra income, alright, to develop your own business as an entrepreneur, let me show you the plan. After purchasing the product, you get a tracking center. After getting the tracking center, you go through training and education. Right? Go home, watch this CD. Go home, watch this CD. Go home, read this book. Tomorrow, let's meet for coffee. Let me do some basic knowledge training with you so you clearly understand what you got yourself into. Alright? Watch the welcome video by V Studios. Right? Okay? Pop, 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 pop. Everything moves smoothly. Now, let's talk about you introducing this business concept to some of your friends. Do I say two, three, four, five, six? Why you want to talk about numbers? Why you want to be specific? Right? Talk to some of your friends and family, people on your list of names. How does he know he needs a list of names? Because he watched the eight basic building blocks. We are not even asking you to train. Just take a CD from V Studios, give it to the guy, put into your CD. Press open, put CD, press close, press play, shut up, listen and do. Simple. The V is making it so easy for you to run an ethical business. Right? So education, training. Right? Then I said, listen, this is what you do. You talk to a couple of friends, family, people on your list. They join the business. We explain to them what the business is about. Ethically, no over promises and under delivering. Now, there is a balance. Please don't be a moron and go and, I'm saying moron with love for the first time people hearing me say it. All right? Don't be a moron and go to somebody and say, listen, I'm an ethical networker. 
all right this business is difficult nobody makes money this is the hardest thing you ever do in your life blah 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 you will have to sacrifice time with your family friends you can't watch movies blah 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 you have to work do rule three rule this rule that rule that are you interested which moron is going to say yes so i'm not asking you to paint the ugliest picture i'm asking you to paint a realistic picture i'm not asking you to paint the most beautiful picture which really doesn't exist that's also unethical behavior all right think about this all right so the bottom line is okay unethical group short term destroy network ethical group long term businessman businesswoman you make the decision all right so if this group focuses on training and education and knowledge all right this group nothing hey join the business fine to stop do i have to attend any meetings no need bring people i'll present the same unethical way do do you have any material don't waste money all right nothing you need to know my upline is a millionaire because he did it this way that millionaire won't be a millionaire forever i don't want to be a millionaire for one year you know i want to be a millionaire for the rest of my life i want this business to keep paying me when i'm old sitting on a rocking chair are you guys with me all right that's a long term mentality right so unethical practices does it exist today yes and my vision all right the vision of the v partners the avps the v council is we want to be here forever and we want to do it the right way so the first mistake people make even begins at the presentation right even begins when you make the phone call and call the prospect you call the prospect and said hey you're interested in making easy money that word alone now will get you in trouble hey i have a business opportunity no obligations all right i just need 30 minutes of your time let's meet for a cup of coffee if you like what you see let's work together if you don't like what you see no problem let's have a cup of coffee talk about everything else and we go back home but how people call oh you must come this is the best i have earned so much my upline has earned so much think about it all right why are you in this business to make a quick buck and hurt people and run all right or make long term sustainable income and help more people around you achieve this thing called financial freedom okay so ethical unethical ethical unethical you decide where you want to belong and if your upline presented you this fine to stop sleep money will fall from the sky right confront your upline okay all right tell your upline listen i watch this good looking malaysian on video and he said what you're doing is wrong i want to do it this way can you teach me this way are you guys with me you know right because it's your future if your upline is a moron doesn't mean you have to be a moron too okay now this business is about success and you like to talk about success yes and if you are a successful networker the easiest thing you can do is go up on stage or go up to somebody's meeting or whatever all right you go up on stage or go to somebody's meeting and you say listen i been in the business for 6 months and even your standing is one kind of posture you know all right arrogant and you say this is my check this is my check this is my check this is my check 10000 20000 whatever your check is right you start showing the check is it good to show the check no why because you set an expectation level in the prospect's mind so if a innocent moron like me sitting in the table 6 months the guy got this check unbelievable i love it i want to join but after 6 months if i don't get that kind of check remember uncle works in the authorities family dinner i complain i got cheated are they going to attack the group or attack the company the company and everyone gets affected do you understand so i like to talk about my success but i don't have to tell you i earn how much look at me all right look at the posture talk about your lifestyle make statements like i've been in the business for 3 years and after coming into this business i have a big problem every afternoon when i wake up i don't have to wake up in the morning like you because i'm financially free perfect statement i leave my house and i stand in front of my house for 30 minutes 
because my biggest problem every afternoon is choosing which car should I drive today. Unbelievable statement of lifestyle. Are you guys with me? All right? Okay? You have breakfast at home. Next day, you have breakfast at home. Next day, you have breakfast at home. When I get married, one day, inshallah, to a very beautiful, networking, supportive, dreamer woman, okay? We, all right? I'm going to tell the crowd, hey, listen, I had breakfast with my wife yesterday. Everyone said, so what? In Paris. And today, we're in Kuala Lumpur. So you can talk about your success in a different way, all right? Defining your lifestyle of success. Are you guys with me? You don't have to brag and show your checks. Right? Showing your checks create jealousy in the table. And how do you know the guy sitting there is from the income tax department? And he says, oh, really? Big checks, brother. I'm coming to your house tomorrow to check out what else you own. Right? Guys, think before you do things. Think whether it's duplicable. Because if I have a $10,000 check, I can show it. But my downline who doesn't have a $10,000 check will feel inferior. I can't do the business like partner because I don't have a $10,000 check. All right? I've been doing this business for years and I'm financially free. I never needed to show a check. You are the success of this business. Your lifestyle represents the success of your business. All right? Think about that point. So this guy here is going to use his checks. Effective? Maybe. For how long? Duplicable? No. No one else can do it unless the guy has big checks. So why would you be a moron and talk about your checks? Not necessary. That means you're not a true businessman. You're not truly successful. If you have to depend on a piece of paper to show your success, that means you have not grown in this business. You will never have the respect of your downlines. Because when that piece of paper is no longer there, you are useless. You can't command your people anymore. You can't be a true leader. All right? A true leader, success is represented by how much you have grown, how much your lifestyle has changed. Simple things. I'm free. I don't work 9 to 5. I don't go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home anymore. I'm free. Without mentioning my check, you know, that statement alone inspires thousands of people to get into our business, to achieve that same freedom many thousands of people in QuestNet and the V have achieved today. All right? So there are many ways to have the same positive effect of these unethical people by doing ethical methods. So the truth about network marketing is you don't need to show checks. Show your lifestyle. Talk about success. And success to a mother or father. Simple statement. I remember one of our leaders saying he went up on stage. He made great success in our business. Unbelievable networker. And he said, guys, I'm a full-time daddy. That is what QuestNet gave me. Unbelievable statement. Because most fathers go to work, come back home, never get a chance to be with their kids. So the statement of full-time daddy is much more powerful than a moron showing a check. Let me tell you that. This is networking. This is professional networking. So you have to think about that. All right? Now, long term, short term. A lot of people had this argument with me. Okay, Batman, you call me unethical, you call me a moron, I show my checks, blah, blah, blah. But I'm successful. Yes, for six months, for one year. Then what happens? Right? People are not going to follow you. Right? Because your success is so individualistic. Right? In unethical groups, there'll be a small number of people earning a lot of money. And thousands of people who feel like they were cheated, who are not earning money. Because what the uplines are doing is not duplicable. And then you have another organization, which is the A organization, the organization the V endorses, the organization I love, right? Where a lot of people earning good checks, lifestyle changes, uplines, respected, right? Influential, people follow them. Right? They say, stand, stand, sit, sit. Not because he's Hitler or dictator or whatever. Right? Because, hey, this guy helped me become successful. He trained me. He educated me. Right? So this area where you should belong, this group A, training, education, knowledge, ethics, long-term business, right? this is where you should belong. Unethical, short-term, no training, no knowledge, a lot of lies, 
Okay? If you belong to this organization, can I tell you the truth? Because we're talking about the truth today. You may make a little bit of money, but you're not a networker in my book. And your business will never last. It will collapse. You will burn bridges, hurt people in the process because you made big promises you couldn't fulfill. You made empty promises you couldn't make into reality. Right? Now, QuestNet and the V have decided from the day we started in 1998 that we are here to stay. And in order for us to stay, you cannot sit at home watching this video and saying, well, I just want to make my money and run. Just think about this. Huh? You sign up and you join an unethical group or you belong to an unethical system or a system which lies and shows checks and make promises they can't keep and say things like buy tracking center, find two, stop and make money from the sky, which is a lie. Why would you want to find two and stop? Then what about rule three? What about always networking until you retire? All right? You may be sitting and saying, it's okay, Patman. I'm going to make my money. I'm happy. All right? Why do I care about the rest of the world? I feel very sorry for you. Just think about this for one minute. The day you sign up and you get a left and right, you're on your own. Do whatever you want. Okay? Okay? Lie to yourself, look in the mirror and show these moronic plans, whatever you want. You don't have to be ethical. But the day you sign up one person, you become responsible for that person's journey in QuestNet. You become responsible for that person's future, their dreams, their hopes. And you have a choice of being a responsible upline networker or a moronic, irresponsible, unethical, moronic, let me repeat the word, moronic networker. You have a choice. I made the choice when I joined this business that it's going to be a long-term business, that all my downlines are my partners. It's my duty towards them to help them achieve their dreams the proper way. Whether this journey takes three years or five years, people question, five years, Patman, oh my God. Five years to financial freedom is too long. Can I ask you a question? All right. What other options do you have? Go to work, come back home, 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 go to work, come back home for 40 years and you're still broke. So if somebody tells me I have a business opportunity, Mr. Patman, I said, yes. Three to five years, you become financially free, baby. All right? I say, I'm interested. So a lot of people in this group make this business look like a short-term, get-rich-quick, runaway scheme. That's not QuestNet. QuestNet, like I said, let me repeat one more time, is a long-term business. Networking is a career. I want to be a networker till the day I drop dead because I love what I do and I get to help a lot of people. So if you are in group A, this beautiful group of people who are successful, the minute they sign up somebody, they take responsibility over the person. They make sure this person gets the right message. All right? They make sure the person knows how to present the plan properly. They make sure the person gets training, knowledge, everything. And they keep maintaining, supporting, guiding this person until the person reaches financial freedom. Is your duty done after that? No. Because this is continuously growing. It's growing every day. All over the planet. And as you consider that you have achieved financial freedom, there's somebody here who just joined who just joined. One beautiful, you know, retired school teacher who wants to fly around the world and buy a pink Ferrari. I don't know. And she saw the presentation. She loved it. And she said, I'm set for financial freedom three to five years. Okay? All right? Now, who's going to look after this person? Who's going to guide this person? Who's going to educate this person? Right? Because if you start the right way from the top, if you have a system which works, all right, your system will be duplicated all the way down line. So this person could be 1,000 levels down. You want to know how to build a network properly? This person could be 1,000 levels down. 
and this person will speak the same language as this person. This person will have the same knowledge as this person. This person will have a name list. All right? A starter kit prepared with all the right documents. Eight basic building blocks. Rule three. Welcome video. Equip networker as this person. And the gap of this could be five years. Could be thousand levels. If you have achieved this, all I can say is unbelievable. You are a professional networker. But in most organizations, sad to say, like this B organizations, this guy on top speaks a different language. And a guy coming thousand levels down is speaking a total different language. He said 33250, find two and stop the moron. This guy is saying 33250, don't do anything. Just buy tracking center. Let me repeat that again. You're not buying a tracking center. You're buying a quality product from Questnet which comes with a business opportunity, which is your choice. Are you guys with me? Should you take on the business opportunity? Yes. Because your options out there in the real world are not much. All right? Networking is the future. All right? Interactive distribution is the future. QuestNet is your future. But the message here in this group B, here one message, and the message goes downline and totally gets distorted. All right? Modify. Sometimes the message even gets worse. And ultimately, this guy down here, where's the guy? He's missing. Okay? Let's put him here. Thousand levels down. This guy down here thinks, thinks. Because of all this mixed messaging, no system, morons, over promising, unethical practices, blah, 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 blah. Alright? This guy that thinks, because to him it's the truth, because he's applying tolling. He thinks, buy tracking center, left, right, go home, sleep, make money. You're laughing at home. You're smiling. <laughs> Apartment, no one does this. Wake up and smell the coffee. A lot of people do this. I'm trying to hunt them down. Okay? All right? And change the way they think. Because this person is innocent, you know. Innocent. Most probably, never heard of networking. Maybe not even educated like me. But good looking. All right? Okay? And his uncle, the uncle is the problem, not this guy. This guy paid some money, got a product, happy, sit down at home, waiting for checks. Then it comes to the family dinner. The family dinner gives Questnet a lot of problems. Uncle, authority, police, ministry of trade, whatever. Ah, let's say the person's name is, you know, John. John, how's life? Uncle, I got into this company. I bought a product. They said every week I'm going to get a check. No checks. How long? Six months. Huh? My nephew cheated. Dun, 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 and he takes it his own way. And he just attacks. Who does he attack? Does he attack this moron here? Does he attack the moron who brought him in? Does he does investigation to figure out whether it's an ethical group or unethical group? No. He said, what's the name of the company? Questnet. Okay, Kalas. Let's attack. Are you guys with me? And that's how a lot of network marketing companies get into a lot of trouble. I don't want Questnet to get in trouble. I want the world to see Questnet for what it is. Right? A world-class network marketing company which has helped change thousands of lives around the world ethically, properly. Right? And one day, my dream is to travel to the darkest corner of the world, Telo Intan, the brightest town in Malaysia. All right? Or, you know, uh, Solomon Islands and meet some guy on the street. I right? said, hey, are you in Questnet? Yes, sir, I'm in Questnet. How long? Two days, sir. Fantastic. What do you know about Questnet? Questnet is a network marketing company, sir. All right? I'm very proud to be in it. I have a high-quality product. I purchased a high-quality product from Questnet, this wonderful Biodis. All right? Now I've decided to enter the business opportunity. All right? I've attended two trainings in the past 48 hours. I've watched three videos. I have a name list, sir. I know how to present. All right, sir? I'm all set. I've got my name list. Hot, warm, cold. All right, I'm planning to start Rule 3 after 6 months because I'm still a baby right now. My upline is a fantastic guy. I'm going to achieve financial freedom 3 to 5 years. I'm a long-term thinker. I pray that anywhere in the world one day I meet Quest Networkers like that. I don't want to meet any more people who say, Hey, Mr. Patman, I'm in Questnet. Yes, I bought a tracking center. I found two people. Now I'm waiting 
for money to fall from the sky. Because the upline who showed me the plan said, every week, check, guaranteed. Guys, there are no guarantees in life. Lah. Can I guarantee you one thing? From start to financial freedom with QuestNet will be the best journey you have ever taken. And I want you to make a conscious decision sitting there at home right now. How do you choose to do this journey? This group, systematic, ethical, Focus on training, tools, CDs from V Studios, all right, going on the website, trainings, attending VCons, attending ReVCons, attending NSS, gaining knowledge from successful people, all right, very focused on education, very ethical, no showing checks, instead showing lifestyle, all right, which is much more effective in my opinion than throwing checks around, okay, long term thinkers, business minded. Understand that this business has rules, policy procedures we follow because we want to build it long term. Right? You have that choice. You have that choice that this person, thousand levels below, carries the same message as the upline. Carries the right message. Or, you can go to the dark side and belong to this group. Totally unethical. Say whatever they want, whatever they have to, to get the sign up. Because the sign-up is important. I don't care what happens to him after that. I get the UV, which is the wrong language also. You're not getting a UV. You're getting a business partner. Right? Don't degrade a human being to two alphabets. Like, hey, he's my UV. He's my tracking center. TC, left, right. They're all business partners. They're going to become your family. Right? So you have a choice. Unethical. Overpromise, under-deliver. Lies. Okay, show checks. You understand? And this group may look successful. Alright? May look successful because they are so aggressive and they use all kinds of negative methods to get people in. Alright? May look successful, but I guarantee you, after six months or one year, this group won't be around. This group smells, looks, feels, inside truly successful and these are the groups which will be around after five years after ten years these are the empires of the world all right this is what the v is building today this is what the v is all right and my mission with the v right is to travel around the world coming to your country very soon i hope all right and teaching people sharing with people the right way of doing questnet and that the wrong way will cause more harm than good, I guarantee you. But the sad part is, the V is proud to say we have a lot of groups like this around the world. But somewhere along the line, through a hole they sneak through, we have groups like this also. Not for long. All right? As we reach more people, as we reach more countries, as the V opens up more countries the proper way, I guarantee you, all right, that the best way to understand QuestNet, the best way to build a business, the best way to have a long-term business and to achieve this. Financial freedom. Will it happen? Yes. How is the journey from start to financial freedom? You decide. Beautiful or ugly? I chose the beautiful journey. All right? The past few years, I've truly enjoyed my journey. And I'm proud that the past few years, all right, the V has effectively built these kind of groups. We promote systems right, more than anything else. And if you feel you belong to this group, get out. Confront your upline. Change. Be the change in the organization. And tell your uplines, I watched this good-looking Malaysian on a video and I want to belong to this group. I want to be a long-term, ethical, professional networker with the V. Thank you very much.